Greetings to all Shisha sportsmen. My name is Dania and I will be the showrunner of this event. I am glad to welcome you to the international stage of annual show Mix and Story 2023. What's Mix and Story? In this event, contestants from different countries should create a hookah mix about the region they live or about personal story and record a video presentation about own mix. The video should present which idea and atmosphere should put the smoker or their mix. We organize this show only one time per year since 2020. The author of concept is Alek Giginin, co-founder of Hookah Battle and head of the biggest hookah community in BK, Club 24. For this year, are going to have some new features. If you smoke at home, at the end of the show, we will tell in which online hookah shops worldwide you can buy the mixes from our contestants. If you smoke hookah in lounges, we will tell you in which hookah lounges of different countries you can order mixes from participants of Mix and Story 2023. Thanks to all official commentators, uh, you can watch here uh, from different languages this video on your native language. I'm happy to announce you the jury members of our event. Anton Gaivalonsky, <laughs> the founder of John Kaliana Blog, co-founder of the biggest franchise chain of hookah lounges, more than 200 lounges in 18 countries, hookah place. Anton, you've been as a guest of our first events, Hookah Battle, uh, above 2011, 2012. Can you share us the memories, maybe the feelings about these even 12 years ago? Do you remember when we met for the very first time in 2011 in St. Petersburg? I remember your first uh, Hookah Battle that I, that I came to make a video about. It I was the second one, it was actually. The, sec the second, yes. I don't remember the first uh, meeting, how we met together, but uh, I remember my experience from the first hookah battle that I was in. Mm -hmm. It was so amazing that uh, it was one of the um, um, reasons that we decided to create a hookah place chain, actually, because we For saw you. there is a <laughs> big culture building up, and you was one of the first uh, person who, who started all this. You know? To inspire to you, inspired, I guess. Yes. That's yes. cool. So I'm, thank I'm you. pleased. Thank I'm you. pleased to hear wow. something like that. Wow. That's cool. Um, all right. Nice story. Let's go on. Okay. So the next one is Ayhan Bulut. Welcome. <laughs> Our good guest from Turkey. Yeah. Ayhan is the founder of Nargile Uzmani shop and New Hookahs. Yeah. Okay. Ayhan. What you can tell you about hookah tobacco mixing? Is this popular in Turkey or people prefer to smoke solo flavors? It was, people were smoking only like classic aromas like double apple, cappuccino, that kind of. But the new generation, and they change. Now oh. they are trying mixes. So you had old school and new school yeah, masters. That's right. That's cool. That's really cool. So. Uh, next one is Anton Studnev, <laughs> the founder of Alpha Hookah. Anton, you've been the awarded of Hookah Battle Europe Cup in Germany Shisha Mess Expo above 2018. Can you share your memories and feelings? Yeah, I think uh, I was very excited uh, at that time because it was our first exhibition uh, not in Russia. Uh, the first time we were in Frankfurt and for me also uh, the first time I was in Germany also. Uh, so, and uh, also the same year we uh, produced the Model X, our most popular hooker. And uh, we showed to European public, uh, to European people, uh, how Russian people can make. How they uh, make. Yeah. How, how we do this. How we do it, yeah. Glad so, but to listen uh, this. Our, our, our team was uh, uh, interna international because uh, we had some partners from uh, Riga, from Latvia, from uh, Estonia and so on. Yeah, I think we will show some pictures, uh, some memories from you. Yeah, yeah of you. course. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Artur Aksionov, welcome. 
brand ambassador of Dark Side, franchisee and founder of two hookah lounges of hookah place in St. Petersburg. Yes? Yes. Am, am I that's right? right? Yeah. Alexey Ilin, welcome. <laughs> the founder of Nana Smoke, the legend of hookah battle, 10 Hall of Fame. Alexey traveled with us to many countries where he took part in hookah battle. 2022, been awarded with status of legend of hookah battle. Alexei, can you tell us which benefits brings you hookah battle and status of legend? How it changed your life? The first, I am here with... Uh, oh, please show it, please show it. Uh, please show my ring. Nice. ring. My ring yeah, is my here. Ring of <laughs> power. <laughs> I'm here power, with yeah. famous people, with popular people. Uh, it will be a good time for me next five hours. And um, when I traveled with Hookah Battle team, uh, I found inspiration uh, for my new models of my hookahs. Oh, really? Because uh, <laughs> all my hookahs for Hookah Battle, I take with me in my bag. That's cool. And uh, it was. Uh, Brazil, it was Spain, Spain. it was United, uh, States. United States, Las uh, Vegas, and Germany. I drive with my hookah to the Los Angeles. I visit hookah place in Los Angeles. Oh yeah, uh, when, it, when it was open, yeah. <laughs> yes, it was open. Nice people nice works in this place. Also, cool, cool. cool. It's my yeah, very cool. cool. Yeah. 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 And I have big metal awards in oh. my office. All people no, who come show. to me I ask, think it's wow. like a belt in UFC, yeah? Something like <laughs> that, yeah. We will, we will show a picture Like for you. YouTube button. Ah, YouTube button, <laughs> yes. okay. So, last but not least, Stan Mitkov, the yeah. founder yeah. and the CEO of Hookah Battle. <laughs> Stan, Hookah Battle organized around 20 international events ever every year, but you prefer to become a jury member only in Mix and Story show. So why? Well, uh, because, yeah, we organize like 20 events per year and this event is my favorite one. So I just fall in love with this concept of Mix and Story and I, I really love to give you some short story how we created this show. So, uh, the author of this show is my partner, co-founder of Hookah Battle, Oleg Kniginin. Unfortunately, he is not with us anymore because he escaped from Russia to Montenegro. So now he is a Montenegro guy. Hello, Oleg, if you watch the show. I hope you have a nice weekend in Czech Republic, uh, where guys invited you to be a big hookah blogger from Russia and not invited me. But <laughs> yeah, I, I yeah. guess he's smoking hookah right now. All right, they actually they actually have invited me, but uh, it's our partners Hookah Monk from Czech Republic, and they have a great event in in Czech with tasting of shishas and so on. So Oleg, Oleg created a great idea. It was pandemia in 2020, and we start to think which show in online we can make for the hookah battle contestants but when everyone's sitting on country so we can travel it's uh, covid and that's a problem so ole created this idea what if guys will just send us by postal their hookah mix and send a video of presentation of this mix so that's the concept how we can still make it during covid period uh, yeah so th the first step it was just a show for covid but on the next year, we have organized it again, and we have found not a bug, but a feature. And uh, <laughs> so let me give you an example. Uh, in 2021, uh, we have had uh, contestants who represent St. Petersburg city, our city. And the mix flavor being uh, the dirty road of St. Petersburg, the dirty rainy road of St. Peter and the flavor of this mix, it was just awful. So you, <laughs> you even can't smoke it, it was awful. But uh, the video, the girl, uh, the video presentation being like girl travel on some bridges of St. Petersburg, some rainy weather, she visits some library and so, and you watch this video and you smoke this mix and you think, damn, this is a St. Petersburg flavor, that's it. And uh, but at the same time, the mix was awful. The taste was awful. 
And the idea of this show is not about the flavor, not about the mix. The idea is uh, to bring the new experience of hookah smoking. So to bring the experience of be in context of some idea, you know, and it's totally the new experience. So that's what I want to mention. So I would like all of you guys to try the new experience today. And I hope all of you will, will really enjoy. I think we're all here for good emotions. Well, it's going to be different emotions. Different? I okay. hope so. Okay. Today we are going to have 13 teams from eight countries. Each team have prepared some unique hookah mix and video story. The judges will smoke a mix and watch the story. After each story, we will have a time to discuss each contestant. According to our rules, each team been free to select any kind of tobacco brands and flavors to create an own mix. Also, we have a new features from Hookah Battle. Different hookah bloggers and communicators have placed money bets on the teams. Each community supports some particular team. The winning team will bring some money to the community which have been supported it. All right, uh, I think we are ready to start. From the first team? From the very first team. Do we have a hookah, hookah? be prepared? Yeah. First hookah? I think we can okay. go. Okay, so go I'm announce. Let me announce. First team, Community Tobacco, Russia. Captain Alexandra Zelinskaya. Uh, so mix must have ice cream 50%, dark side Norberry 35%, dark side killer milk 10%, Matt Pir Gretzky 5%. Oh yeah, I think we should mention that uh, since there are so many people who want to participate in, from Russia in, in mix and story, we decided to make uh, the separate show, R a Russian mix and story, only for Russian contestants. So it were 10 teams. Uh, it finished one week ago. And guys took second place in Russian mix and story. So that's the winners from previous show. Um, let's watch their story. So I have already seen this, but you guys... Let's begin. Never watch our shows, right? First time, first time. So uh, you will watch it for the first time. Я в Сибири родилась, выросла и понеслась. Здесь ребята хороши, забивают от души. На колоночку пошла, я водицы набрала, хочу калик покурить, надо чашечку забить. У -у -у -у! Сейчас зависшек нарублю, уголечек разожгу, хоть метель, хоть мороз, я дымлю, как паровоз. У -у -у -у! Сейчас про микс вам расскажу, всех медведей разбужу, но курить ему не дам, потому что он болван. У -у -у! Клюква красная поспела, кедра манит аромат, и сгущенки сладкой ложкой соблазняет на затяг. У -у -у! Ребята, угоститесь, лучше нам вы улыбнитесь, только строго не судите и на батл приходите. У -у -у -у! Я в Сибири родилась, выросла и понеслась, жизнь закинула в СТ и пошло все по звезде. У -у -у! Она еще и без вали, Жека в минус 30. Кайфы. Ну, такое привычное состояние для Сибирска. Щеки о школе холода. Very cute, very cute. Yeah. yeah. It was brilliant, brilliant, I think. So, wanna ask what do you think about this video? 
and uh, maybe raise your opinion. Let voice raise your opinion. <laughs> whoa, Haters whoa, going. whoa. <laughs> we have to discuss something, yeah, guys? Let me start with Anton. Anton. Well, I guess it's kind of cringe. <laughs> cringe? Cringe, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Russian cringe. Russian cringe, yeah. Um, it's nice. It's, uh, I, I always like when a girl uh, preparing uh, shisha, so it's uh, good for her, cool. Uh, but uh, overall presentation is kind of um, tacky. Uh, you know, people think that Russia is all about cold and bears, and here we balalaika. see... Balalaika. Balalaika, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and uh, I don't think that the mix fits this idea of Sib Siberia and cold, because it's not that cold, it's not that frosty, I mean the mix uh, and uh, I, I can't see any pine in oh. it. I think they should mix more frost Siberia pine. and pine. Yeah, but here I see Matt Peer from Gretzky, uh, Gretzky from Matt Peer. Why is it here? I don't know. Uh, Killer milk fr from Dark Side also, I don't think it fits. So this is what okay, I, I think about it. Okay, it's opinion. And who wants to criticize as well? Yeah, I can't. maybe. Yeah, it was okay, but the video was good. But from the aromas, I didn't get one. I want to feel oh. one, but I didn't feel it. You didn't it, yeah. recognize? Yeah, yeah I okay. didn't recognize that what is so... Well, but yeah. girl was cute. Yeah, that's <laughs> okay, right. Okay, so who, who, who wants to oh, tell I want. good mm -hmm. So, she showed us the extremely cold weather. Yeah. And I don't feel it. Uh, she used dark side. And she don't use supernova. Why? Why? It's question. And uh, I don't see in uh, video line the Gretzky. Why? Why Gretzky? It's summer. Some. It is something from uh, forest. Yeah. It, I don't see it forest. It didn't fit. Didn't. And about this song, it was very cool because my grandmother, when as when I was child, a little boy, she uh, songs. Uh, the similar something song. same, yeah, yes, yeah. So and uh, it's, oh, it's cool. Kids memory, yeah. so it's a flashback, it you know. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. And my grandmother make freestyles these yeah? uh, songs. Yes, whoa! She see something, me, uh, me and, and my um, teddies, yeah, for yeah. example, and she mix words and yes, yeah, make free like freestyles Eminem. like here, yeah. and it was fine. Nice, nice. Okay, that's cool, uh, Arthur. Yeah, uh, I agree with Anton. It was uh, a little bit cringe, but uh, I think it's a funny cringe. Uh, if, uh, because we have uh, uh, two types of videos. This is serious video and funny video. And, uh, but you know, the question is, does it only funny fits. for Russian speakers? Or it's funny like oh, worldwide? Yeah. That's the question. So I think uh, it's uh, funny for everybody because uh, uh, everybody in the world uh, thinks that uh, Russia is uh, cold, vodka, balalaika and beer. No vodka in video, you see? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no yeah. vodka here, what, what the fuck? Oh, my mistake. So, but uh, if you speak about uh, the Gretzky, I think uh, she want to say uh, that this is uh, needle seeds, something, uh, something like uh, by the taste. All right. All right. All right. Uh, so, uh, and I have to add. So uh, for me, it uh, fits perfect because we have uh, one of the brand called Misha, and <laughs> I think <laughs> <laughs> it fits uh, the best. Uh, the Rolex, uh, the video, I think uh, we can use in our uh, marketing activities oh, and really? promotion. Yeah, why not? Well, well, <laughs> because because it's, it's some kind of satire. You, you know that uh, before me was told that. Uh, I, I know what uh, will you do with your all, all, advertisement. All you will <laughs> you will send some uh, colorful masks to these to these yeah. girls, yeah, and uh, you you will ask to wear it, yeah, and to see it again. Well, all <laughs> the people around the world thinks that uh, in Russia it's very cold, and in the, there are beers uh, on the street, walking on it's the street. It's a stereotype. Yeah, it's stereotype. I think it's cool, nice. It's uh, like irony, you know, irony. irony so. yes. yeah. And irony is good. Yeah, All right, so... Thank you for your opinion. It was, yeah, the first team, so... So, second team.
second team and the fan of Raim, Kazakhstan, Captain Aman Istaev, Spectrum Caribbean Rum 20%, Aesthetica Lemon Cupcake 35%, Aesthetica Almond 10%, Dark Side Deep Lucy 35%. Sweet flavors are very popular in Aktao. This is how Aman thinks. Салам алейкум. Что вы желаете поговорить? Алейкум ассалам. Давай, знаешь, что-нибудь такое, ну, необычное, что-нибудь. Ну, сам понимаешь, да, вот это кисло, кудрявое, там, с молоком, с винишком, как обычно, короче, да? Просто уже все обычное реально надоело. Давай что-нибудь вот такое прям необычное. А там же на свое, на, на свое усмотрение. Все хорошо. Я нашел! Капитан! Капитан, капитан! Смотри, что я нашел! Это то, что я искал. Основной можешь оставить себе. Здравствуйте, чем могу помочь? Здравствуйте, я еще что-то лимонное. Что вы можете мне предложить? Да, как раз у нас. Только сегодня у нас пришел лимонный кекс от эстетики. Можете понюхать, посмотреть. Да, это то, что я искал. Руслан, можно тебя на минутку? Ты же понимаешь, я не могу тебе его отдать. Это хука батл. Не скажи сам за себя. Сука. Ты, блядь, за это ответишь. Сука! Рай, мне нужна твоя помощь. Я забиваю десертный микс. Мне нужен четвертый вкус, чтобы его дополнить. Что ты можешь предложить? Так, если это десертный микс, то его можно найти только в ущелье. Тебе надо будет сесть за ним. Прямо сейчас? Куда ты пропал? Гости твои уже ушли. 
Что ты будешь делать с этой чашкой? Да ничего страшного. Я отправлю этот микс на микс на столик. Nice video. Wow. Nice video. Very funny. Yeah, it's like a movie. Yeah. Let the judges say your words. What do you think about uh, tablets? This mix? Tablets. Yes, yes. Judges, please void. This your voice. Oh, I see, I see. So, some good words, maybe from you, my friend. Yeah, the video was the. The video was really good. Mm -hmm. I was feeling that I'm watching like one series. Oh, yeah. And the test was good. I feel re really good. So I like it. It's very good. Thank you for your opinion. Yeah, I like to the video. Yeah, very interesting. Okay, so some critics from my side. Um, I don't really understand the concept of the mix. Like, okay, I, I, I got the general idea that they have collected okay. ingredients from each story, so from each article, one ingredient. But I can't understand the, the idea, idea in general. Yeah. Like, yeah. what is the general idea of the mix? So that's, that's still an open question for me. Maybe it's, uh, I think it's a uh, spirit of Kazakhstan, something sweet, something... Mm, I hope so, but my, th there is something I were looking okay. for, yeah. Guys, Guys maybe. maybe, yeah, welcome. Um, my wife is from Kazakhstan and I visit this uh, country many, many times. times. Yes. Uh, it's like your hometown, yeah? <laughs> yes. Uh, father from my wife is builder and oh, okay. uh, he builds um, buildings. And uh, this is one place in uh, Astana, name is Ilyinka. Wow. Yes. <laughs> it's it's uh, already. Yes, like yeah. my name. A name wow. our uh, family. <laughs> and um, people, uh, I see people, uh, and all people in Kazakhstan say to you, brother. Yeah. It's very cool. Uh, and uh, I see many uh, times uh, cars, uh, Japan cars. We see here uh, Camry, Toyota Camry. <laughs> this yeah. is a uh, special uh, Kazakhstan car. All people need to have this car. And uh, all people uh, in Kazakhstan is, uh, have uh, lifestyle, easy going lifestyle. Easy going and style. One little bit uh, cr crime. <laughs> and uh, we see it, all is yeah. here. A it's little very bit. funny. And uh, about mix, mix. Um, yeah. I is it never uh, smoke in Kazakhstan something like this mix. This is question. Why? Uh, but this Deep Blue Sea well, uh, was okay, cool. Well, N I, nice actually, place. Deep Blue Sea was one of my favorite flavors. So I, I really love it. So one of my By the way, uh, all the guys who watch us from the United States, we should say thanks to Alex Kazakhstan uh, banking account. <laughs> <laughs> I because helped Stan to become uh, last, a, a visa. <laughs> yes? Yeah, last summer we have had a task. It was a really important task to pay a bill from uh, United States Embassy. And since there are no any option to pay it from Russian credit card or something, I knew that Alex had a banking account in Kazakhstan, so I asked, asked him to pay my bill for, from United States. Yeah, and that's All for you. Uh, yeah, All and for that's you. why we will have an option to visit uh, Cook Expo Worldwide, uh, which is coming, uh, I guess, in September in the Las Vegas. I hope that we will enjoy this time wow. all together with all our American community. So thanks again, Alex. Stan Alex, is <laughs> my hookah father. <laughs> it was my first hookah 10 years ago, my first slim nano smoke I bring to Nargilia office in St. Petersburg, Rubinstein Street to Stan. For uh, Stan, Stan, see and taste it and uh, say to me something. And it was born of my big factory, what I have now. 
Thank you to you. Words, My Uka father. Oh, yeah. It's very cute. Story very cute. Anton, you are my second father. Thank you, Thank you for <laughs> review of Russian. Okay. How many okay. godfathers we have here? Three hours story. of it's this review memory, in yeah. these years. It was very, very cool for me. It was my born to the in hookah industry. Thank you to you. My I'm very <laughs> pleasant to see this hookah industry family. Yes. yes. Meet father from, from Turkey? Just for me. Oh, uh, father yeah, from Turkey. Father number one. Do you know? <laughs> <laughs> the we have uh, <laughs> one more father from Turkey. Next if you want. Yeah. For Turkey. example, we can start distribution to Turkey. Yes. So I w next year you will tell that <laughs> your third okay. Connecting people, <laughs> yeah. you know. <laughs> All right, so okay. uh, anyone want to add anything or yeah, write add me. something, please? So it uh, was really interesting, uh, but uh, only at start. I think that uh, Disney make a film, a uh, uh, new part of the Pirates of Caribbean Sea <laughs> in Kazakhstan. Yeah, it's, it was very funny, Dark but Pirates of Caribbean Sea. <laughs> this is yeah, Jack Harlow, you know? <laughs> I think it uh, will be a great idea. Uh, maybe yes, maybe no, but uh, other else, it uh, was so corny. Uh, yeah, I think uh, Stas uh, will agree, because uh, then yeah, we saw a lot of the same video, and uh, it's uh, not so funny like yeah, others' t totally, video. Totally agree, yeah, the part with the pirate being really funny and really <laughs> nice, something fresh. So you guys should focus on some uh, pirate thing, you know, so yeah, it was <laughs> maybe. cool. <laughs> maybe it's hype. All right, let's go next. Uh, so, after I go next, I want to give a word to Stan. Oh yes, so the next team is going to be our first team from Japan for this show. And I would like to tell you some personal story. Uh, so the team captain is uh, Eda Kazu. So Eda is our good friend from Japan. And he has been the very first contestant of Hookah Battle from Japan in 2017 we have organized the very first hookah battle united states cup in hookah expo worldwide las vegas and uh, george from uh, regal hookah get me accounted with this guy edda from uptail hookah shop and edda uh, have presented his uh, hookah on hookah battle usa cup and it was really nice unfortunately as i remember he did not won anything on this battle but it was a really great experience so it was my very first connection from japan related to hookah industry and japan to you yeah too and i Ada, i really appreciate that you took part in our mix and story show and we are all together we're really excited to watch your video so let's yeah, watch it and welcome here third team uptail hookah japan kazu eda Trifecta Dark Blend Indian here 40%, Blueberry 30%, Blend Pineapple 30%.
So, applause. This video was good. Yeah. Okay, so let's show our impressions, right? Yeah, yeah, let the judges wait. Hmm, wow. something similar here, yeah, <laughs> yeah? yeah. guys? We have Who want to speak? Um, all right, let me start. So, again. Um, the mix is really nice. I feel something Japanese notes in this mix for sure. Uh, so when I watch this video, my mind is traveling somewhere to Japan, but um, well, honestly, say the video presentation is not perfect. Let's say let's like let's say hold this right. Yeah. It's simple. So it's pretty simple, yeah. And there is no personality in this video, Ada. Like uh, I really wanted you personally to perform in this video. It's it's okay to speak Japanese. Just make uh, English subtitles, we'll, we will understand everything. So, um, but the mix is interesting. It's really interesting. I, enjoy, I, I really enjoy smoking I it. I taste it's, it and it's... Uh, it's wow. Trifecta, a yeah. pretty popular brand from the United States. So I have tried it when I but traveled to the, the US. the flavors make wow And effect. the flavor is interesting. So yeah. Who yeah. wants to add? Alex? Yeah, thank you. i never been in Japan. It Has was me? interesting to see these uh, pictures. Uh, but the uh, video line was one little bit uh, handcrafted. Yeah, it's simple. Too but simple. rules uh, no say rules. our not uh, professional yeah, yeah. Uh, something to draw. And um, mix is uh, the best of mixes what I smoke today. Yes, yes. It's, it's it the was best really from the best. today. Um, okay. I've, I never smoke. Um, Japan uh, hookahs in Japan, but when I smoke it, I see this uh, picture and I, I, I feel match. Feel Japan I feel yeah. match the picture and the taste. And for uh, our rules, this is the best. Wow, wow. 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 Okay, cool. So anyone want to but say a few I, words? I, I show yeah. this uh, because it was uh, one little bit easy. Yeah. Uh, when you uh, prepare. when you prepare, prepare your yeah. project, you need to uh, give for this project more time. Yeah, you think he should more professional. Yes. Yeah. Next this. time, okay. Next one time. little more um, time for prepare, yeah. and uh, he should try he harder. Beca he became uh, green. <laughs> yeah, maybe light. green light well, next time. Edda, next time, please perform personally. We want to see you. We want to see who is behind Shisha Uptail. The second thing, please make a speech from yourself on Japanese. It's okay. So we will translate it. It's fine. And I think you are good to go for the next show. Thank you for yeah, participating. Good luck next, next time. Fourth team, Smoke Decks from Germany and Captain Florian Heidorf. 40% Aqua Menta Lime, 40% Dark Sari Dark Supra, 20% Kiss Mint. Let the video start.
Hallo, mein Name ist Florian Heidorf und ich erzähle euch heute die Geschichte von meinem 17-jährigen Ich, der Shisha-Rauchen als Hobby entdeckt hat und sein Hobby zum Beruf gemacht hat. 2008 hat mich ein Freund in ein Shisha-Café nach Österreich mitgenommen und ich war von Anfang an begeistert. So hat es nicht lange gedauert, bis ich meine erste eigene Shisha gekauft habe und ab und an daheim geraucht habe. Aber 2010 fing es dann richtig an. Die Shisha hatte da zum ersten Mal einen größeren Hype bekommen in Deutschland und ich war in den damaligen Foren und Facebook-Gruppen sehr aktiv. Die recht kleine Szene war eng miteinander verbunden und man hat sich gegenseitig geholfen und neue Sachen ausprobiert. Da ich eine Ausbildung als Programmierer gemacht habe, habe ich angefangen, meinen ersten eigenen Shisha-Blog zu starten. Am Ende meiner Ausbildung war ich so Feuer und Flamme, dass ich mich sofort selbstständig gemacht habe mit meinem eigenen Online-Shisha-Shop. Und das eigentlich ohne jegliche Berufserfahrung oder eine Ahnung, wie man eigentlich eine Firma leitet. Aber naja. Und Ende 2013 war es dann soweit. Ich habe mein erstes eigenes Lager gemietet, habe den Online-Shop programmiert und Anfang 2014 ging der Shop online. Im ersten Jahr ist natürlich noch nicht viel passiert. Ein paar lokale Kunden, ein paar Online-Shop-Kunden, aber so wirklich voran ging es eigentlich nicht. Aber ich habe Tag und Nacht an dem Online-Shop optimiert und ihn verbessert und den Shisha-Blog professionalisiert und langsam wurden die Bestellungen auch immer mehr und der Shisha-Hype in Deutschland ist dann erst so richtig ausgebrochen. 2016 kam dann die erste große gesetzliche Änderung in Deutschland und es wurde verboten, dass auf Tabakdosen Früchte oder Fruchtnamen zu sehen sind. Ich erkannte, dass das zukünftig Problem für die Shisha-Rauch ist, dass keiner mehr weiß, was nach was eigentlich schmeckt. Und so habe ich angefangen, eine Webseite zu programmieren, die genau das erklärt, welcher Tabak nach welchem Geschmack schmeckt. In den nächsten Jahren habe ich kontinuierlich an den Shisha-Projekten gearbeitet. Im Online-Shop kommen immer mehr Bestellungen rein, mehr Kunden aus dem Umkreis kamen hinzu und auch Smoke Decks habe ich fast täglich programmiert und die neuen Funktionen hinzugefügt. 2017 lief es dann so gut, dass ich einen weiteren Einzelhandel in der nächsten Stadt eröffnet habe und meinen ersten Mitarbeiter angestellt sowie meinen ersten Auszubildenden. Wir hatten Spaß und waren auch meistens sehr produktiv. Wir veranstalteten verschiedene Events, waren selber auf Events und haben Leuten unser Hobby näher gebracht und haben geschäftlich andere Länder bereist. Auch haben wir 2017 und 2018 beim Hooker Battle mitgemacht und 2018 wurden wir dann Shisha Europa Meister. Dann haben wir uns entschieden, einen weiteren Laden in Karlsruhe zu eröffnen. Wir waren gehypt, die Stimmung war gut und wir wollten nach den Sternen greifen. Leider hat sich der Traum vom Laden in Karlsruhe nach einem Jahr ausgeträumt, denn es ist nicht so gelaufen, wie wir uns das Ganze erhofft haben. Wir mussten den Laden schließen, was finanziell und emotional ein sehr großer Rückschlag für uns alle war. Wir kämpften uns jedoch wieder hoch und kamen zu alter Stärke. Anfang 2020 waren wir dann an einem Punkt, wo unser 200 Quadratmeter Lager aus allen Nähten geplatzt ist und somit war es Zeit für ein neues Lager. So haben wir unser 800 Quadratmeter Lager mit Büros gemietet und es renoviert, um es genau nach unseren Wünschen zu gestalten. Leider war es dann genau der Zeitpunkt, an dem Corona angefangen hat. Etliche Lockdowns haben unser Tagesgeschäft komplett durcheinander gebracht. Wir mussten unseren Einzelhandel sogar für mehrere Monate schließen. Über die letzten Jahre habe ich jedoch stetig an der Verbesserung der Projekte gearbeitet und besonders das eigentlich Hobbyprojekt Smoke Decks hat sich sehr gut entwickelt. In Smoke Decks kann ich meine Leidenschaft zum Shisha Rauchen ausleben. Tausende Shisha Raucher am Tag nutzen Smoke Decks weltweit und informieren sich über Shisha News, den neuesten Tabak, Shisha-Modelle oder bewerten, wie ihnen der Tabak geschmeckt hat. Eine große internationale Community ist entstanden, da es Smoke auf Deutsch, Englisch, Spanisch, Russisch und Arabisch gibt. Auch mehr als 30.000 Bewertungen wurden bereits von der Community abgegeben und mehr als 2.000 Shops und Cafés sind auf Smoke vertreten. Mit Smoke Mixology haben wir tausende Rezepte von Usern, wie sie ihren Tabak gerne mischen. Und hier kommen wir direkt zu meinem Mix, den ich euch heute präsentiere. 
Als erstens haben wir einen leckeren, spritzigen Limettentabak von Adalia, gemischt mit grünem Tee von Darkside. Und für die zusätzliche Frische in dem Mix kommt noch etwas Pfefferminze von Kismet hinzu. Dieser Mix ist mein absoluter All-Time-Mix. Fruchtige Limette mit einer leicht herben Teenote, gemischt mit einem Schuss frischer Minze. Ich mische das Ganze partiziell, also 40% Limette, 40% grüner Tee und 20% Pfefferminze. Abschließend mag ich euch allen noch etwas auf den Weg geben. Tut das, was ihr liebt. Ich hatte die letzten 10 Jahre keinen Urlaub, arbeite gefühlt 24-7, war im Büro, wenn andere Party gemacht haben und habe auf viel verzichtet. Aber es war jede Minute wert. Und auch wenn es ab 2023 in Deutschland Shisha-Tabak nur noch in maximal 25 Gramm Packungen geben wird, alles teurer wird und auch sicher mein Geschäft darunter leiden wird, werde ich weiter kämpfen. Kämpfen für meine Lebensgrundlage, für meine Mitarbeiter und auch für meine Leidenschaft zum Shisha-Rauchen. Good work, Florian. Good work. Okay, let the judges vote. Let me see what you think about this. Okay, very positive. And one not positive vibration. Normal. Okay, we will talk. <laughs> we will talk with you. <laughs> uh, okay. So let me speak. Yeah, let me you. just yeah. give my ah. uh, review. Okay, so first okay. of all, the taste of mix just wonderful. I really enjoy it. I, I love this combination of lemon, thin, lime, fresh, uh, something, uh, jasmine tea. Uh, dark side super is just mint tea, right? Yes, yes. Yeah, right. so very, very nice combination. I really enjoy it. So some fresh summer mix, just wonderful. So uh, Florian is uh, my good friend. I know him for many years. And yeah, uh, I, I have asked him to tell a story about his own mix application for, for all the people who love to mix in at home. You can go on Smoke Decks, uh, make your account, and you can start to create your own mixes in this system. And he contributes many other mixes from all over the world. So it's just some really nice thing. Everyone can make it, so go ahead. New technology. Yeah. yeah. Uh, regarding the story, well, uh, as I understand, Florian also participate in Dark Side Inspiration. So I hope uh, you, Arthur, will evaluate his story for Dark Side Inspiration. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah, just just some nice story. Cannot. Uh, okay, let's say it's gonna be not let's not green. Not not green. But like green. It's green, about green white because green white, white because the story is really long and sometimes I see on your faces that you've been a little bit bored. Yeah. So like this, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so uh, <laughs> if there is an option, I know that <laughs> Alex knows yeah. German language. Can you say something in German? To play uh, okay, I have um, one uh, little to say about German. Cool. Uh, okay. I have studied in German uh, one year, it was a good time for me. And uh, my first uh, hookah shop, what I visit, it was in German, and I see first time in uh, Augsburg uh, shisha shop and I first time see uh, silicon hose Ooh. and silicon uh, bowl and I go to home and I have an idea make a small box shisha Where with can put silicon yeah, bowl yeah. and uh, uh, in German was start and my first project I draw in German and I uh, next time come to Russia and make my a hookah. Uh, my future <laughs> this uh, hookahs industry. Well, one more inspiration. One yes. more inspiration contest on here. And, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Stan uh, okay. say me about uh, Florian, uh, say about project of Florian and uh, I uh, help Florian to translate this app and translate this web page to Russian. From German to Russian. To, from, from German to Russian. And uh, now I want to uh, say something special for Florian in German. Okay, please Let's go. go. Also, Florian, uh, danke dir für deine Video. Das war echt gut. Uh, dein Mix werde ich echt zu Hause probieren. Das war super. 
äh, weil du hast äh, ganz einfache äh, Tabakgeschmacke gemischt. Jeder hat diese Geschmacke in Haus, aber du hast äh, echt gut diese Proportionen, diese Teile richtig gemacht und ich habe ganz, äh, ganz gut und ganz voll das äh, probieren. Also, äh, danke dir, dass äh, du äh, alles schön gezeigt hast. Ich hoffe, dass äh, du würdest noch einmal und noch einmal das äh, machen für unsere Industrie. Ich kenne, dass für dich alles sehr schwierig ist, äh, diese Gesetze und diese Schwierigkeiten. Du bist echt Kämpfer. Wir sind alle hier auch diese Menschen, die kämpfen jeden Tag. Weil Shishas in äh, Russland sind auch verboten. Zum Beispiel volle Shisha kannst du in Marketplaces, äh, in Online nicht verkaufen. Wir haben auch viele Schwierigkeiten. Und ich sehe dir und du bist auch wie ich Bruder, aber in anderen Land. Also danke dir für deinen Geschmack und ich hoffe, dass äh, meine Shishas in dein Geschäft <lacht> würden auch verkaufen. Und äh, danke dir, dass du bist Einzige, der meine Shisha in Deutschland hast, in Stock. Uh, <lacht> wow! International he is, uh, he is once in Germany, who have meine Shishas in Stock. Oh, wow. that's cool. Yes, alle Modelle, uh, all, <lacht> all models. Uh, und uh, and he has uh, special Shishas uh, for Blogger. And does it like... All Blogger can call Florian and say, give me please one nano smoke for me. Florian have in all in this uh, place uh, my shishas. That's cool, that's cool. So smoke decks, your shishas. Smoke decks, visit, all is translated in Russian. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. All right, cool. Welcome. So we have some critics. Anton. Yeah, yeah I have a uh, mixed experience about this uh, uh, hookah mix and uh, the performance of the video so for me it's uh, it's okay it's great great story uh, story of the life story of uh, covid um, period uh, and i'm really excited that uh, florian has the power uh, to uh, to pass this way so to big store big, big warehouse uh, and uh, my applause is to florian so, but uh, for the mix, I have some critics because it's uh, too minty and uh, it's too fresh for me, for me. It's just for me. It's my experience. So, and first of all, we uh, I smoked not uh, this hookah, but uh, this one. So, and it was a bit overheated. Well, that's why we have so, two hookahs. So. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So That's let it. me leave a comment. Uh, the video was more professional. More professional. As I see, yeah? yeah? Yeah, it's very nice picture, very nice sound. So, but as you said, it's German, it's fresh, it's simple. Yeah, yeah? it's okay for German. It's uh, maybe not okay for me because I'm Russian. Okay, wish a good luck <laughs> but to Florian. It's, it's good. Well, thanks for your opinion. Let's go ahead to some other Yeah, teams. to the next team. <laughs> Russian mix and stories, uh, Ruka shop, Maxim Kulkin, Russia. Represent you, Jen Jenner, 30%, must have candy cow, 25%, Blackburn came in, 25%, Trofima Finland vanilla, 10%, Sibella, Sibera Bilberry, 10%. Let's watch the video. Давайте, мрази, сатанисты! Люблю я вас выводить на чистую воду. Когда я говорил Екатеринбургу, когда я говорил, что бесы у вас ходят, бесы, город, древний город славный, встань и опомнись. Екатеринбург, сердце Урала. 
При том, что это третий город по населению России, он является самым компактным миллионником в стране. Город с великолепной природой, горами, лесами и озерами. Находится на границе Европы и Азии. Я бы мог вам рассказать байки про тот самый криминальный алмаш. Или то, что Екатеринбург занесен в книгу рекордов Гиннесса за самое большое потребление майонеза в мире на душу населения. Ну или то, что именно уральский металл побывал в разных частях света, как в США на статуе свободы, так и во Франции на Эйферевой башне. Но все не об этом. Я хотел бы показать вам вторую сторону медали. Город бесов. Город храбрых. Как настолько не называли. Но в этом есть доля правды. Урал был суров не только климатом, но и ролью в стране. Урал – центр металлургической промышленности. От производства рельс для всей страны до военной техники. Мы, уральцы, своевольные, честные, но настоящие. Мы готовы к любым суровым условиям труда и жизни. Ведь все, что мы перенесли, делалось для нашего сладкого будущего. Ну и уголь, жа, таль. Ну и табак после тяжелого дня что-то мне напоминает. Ну, добро пожаловать на Урал. From Siberia we love. Uh, yeah. from, Thank Ural. You. from Ural. It's from the, Ural. The yeah, sorry. Thank you, Ural, for this video. It was very interesting. Let's vote. Okay, one opinion, I think not like others. Why? Maybe you can tell us. Uh, I, have one so story. So. I have one story about yeah, Yekaterinburg, have... yes. Mix some stories, why not? <laughs> my story about Yekaterinburg. Uh, my company uh, make acrylic boxes. <laughs> my company, my company. It's not joke. <laughs> It, I, not I joke. Story. In Yekaterinburg, Uh, will be uh, we universate and uh, in Yekaterinburg uh, is a very bi big building uh, expo center and in expo center more than 2000 uh, navigation lamps uh, I make it for Yekaterinburg because really? this is the same by yourself uh, nano handmade. smoke hookah or lamp navigation this is the same technologies And I visit uh, this city, it's very good and very nice. I say to all people who uh, vis visit Yekaterinburg, come to Expo Center. It is same big and same cool like Expo Center in uh, St. Petersburg, who participate in uh, Hookah Battle and uh, Hookah Expo. This is the same, but not in uh, North Capital. <laughs> but in center of Russia. It's cool. And uh, why I uh, show this? Neutral. Neutral. Because video was one little boring. Really. What was boring about? It was boring to see. Oh, okay. But mix was good. And quality too. The quality, the quality, quality of picture. Was, uh, not, I, no? I like quality. Yeah. Okay. It's my, okay. my work. <laughs> Make Maybe quality. some good opinions. Yeah. 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 Let me. I like to thanks to Maxim that first time I like mixes with candy. Okay. okay. Yeah. Thanks to him that that bring us candy. Yeah. yeah. Change. Uh, you give us uh, Turkish delight, and I give to you this Russian candies. This is my. Uh, I have uh, two candies <laughs> what I like. This r Russian milk candies is yeah. very good. Top Russian candy. I think the video was that uh, dull. It was great, for, for my opinion. I love the video and I love that uh, the flavor is really good and it matches uh, the, uh, what I feel about Yekaterinburg. I love this city. And uh, it's uh, a cold mix with a little hint of sweet and a little hint of alcohol. I love the mix and it perfectly matches what I I feel about extreme books. I, I, I love it. I think it's because of vodka. How did you like the opening of video? Oh, it's cool. It's funny. <laughs> yeah, I love the video. I mean, it's funny. It's entertaining and uh, tells some interesting facts about uh, uh, the city, about the uh, about Russia that I didn't know. I didn't know that they use uh, iron. Yeah, yeah. yeah. from uh, from uh, uh, from uh, Yekaterinburg city. 
So I, uh, I love that there are some interesting facts even for me. I didn't know that they use a metal from uh, Yekaterinburg in Statue of Liberty or in the Eiffel Tower in Paris. So it's it's cool that there is some interesting facts, some humor and in the some beginning. some international, international part. part. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So great mix, great flavor, nice presentation, cool. All right. So I have right. to add uh, something. Uh, you know that uh, in our company, some people uh, who work on designs and uh, marketing, they are from uh, Yekaterinburg. Oh, really? Yeah, really. What's the name? 100% uh, uh, of people who work with design. So uh, the guy who made uh, the bottle, the bottle, yeah. and uh, the Oro, the, he, he is from um, Yekaterinburg. The designer who made our prints, uh, boxes, and so on and so on, she is uh, from uh, Yekaterinburg. So, and uh, I know that uh, from one side, Yekaterinburg is an uh, iron heart of the Russia, but uh, not iron, but metal heart uh, yeah, yeah. of the Russia. So, and from another, another hand, uh, they are good designers. They feel quality, they feel uh, the design. So, and uh, if you visit uh, Yekaterinburg, you will feel it. Yeah, it's a wonderful city. Yeah, yeah, well, wonderful city in the uh, center of Russia. Yeah. All right, that's good. So, let's go next to other team. The next team, Jarnili, Timur Salimov, will represent Kazakhstan. And the mixed dark side cherry rocks, 40%, overdose aroma rum, 30%, must have tropic juice, 30% in devil's box. Let's see the video. Salam, <laughs> Barney. Валикума, да, прекрасно все, у тебя как? Тима был на встрече с Маке, а он попросил найти кальян. Что за кальян? Кальян называется хулиган. Добрый день. Есть кто? Не трожь, это вещь не для тебя. Алло, Тим, ты нашел кальян? Сейчас буду, пообщаемся. А, все, хорошо, жду. Ну что, нашел его? Короче, я глянул на это жуть местечко, слушай, для чего она ему? Ну потому что она была создана питерским ремесленником по заказу краснодарского купца. Это лимитированная версия, их всего 55 штук. Он именно хотел 13-ю. А, оплату на днях тогда скинете? Да все, без проблем. Все. Сказать Марат, чтобы доплачивал. Что за хуйня? Нужно за коленом сидеть. Я понятия не имею, откуда она у меня взялась. Я ее Сейчас, не брал подожди. нигде. Она просто у меня появилась. А у тебя ключи что-нибудь есть? У меня нет ключей, в том-то и дело, я... она не открывается. Сейчас, одну секунду. Тим, ты что, угораешь? Это пранк или что? Я не знаю, откуда она у меня. 
У меня не было ключей, я тебе говорил уже. Ладно, пошли, пойдем откроем, посмотрим ключи. Ты знаешь, это очень дорогая вещь. Я не знаю, откуда она у нас у тебя. А что там дорогого вообще? Давай посмотрим. Воу-воу! Почему? Да, блин, братан, садись. Что это такое? Эй, это же старый давний дольца. Хотите рискнуть жизнью? Попробовать покурить? Давай. Можно я потом без цитруса, пожалуйста? О, окей, хорошо. Что-то мне неспокойно. Может, Тара, погадаем? Что там? Блин, что-то неладное. Давай побыстрее уйдем. Девчонки, вот так. Я остановлюсь. Слушай, Мик, девчонки, ты видел? Что, гараж какой, девчонки? Ой, игра начинается. Продолжай убеждать, продолжай убеждать, продолжай убеждать, продолжай убеждать. Какие дела, короче, бля, что ты разъедал, бля, тяжелая смена была. Вот. Кто? Кто? Все, давай сходим, я слава немного. Ирина, ты что, потопал? Да, что, сам напишу там. Все, все, все. Давай, давай. Да, я почти дописал, закончил. Осталось не спуститься, там, пару табачков достать на завтра. Эй, откройте, нифига не смешно! Эй! Ну, хрен, откройте дверь, это нифига не смешно! Эй! Какого хрена? Я же разбил тебя. Возьмите эту вещь, я не знаю откуда она у меня. Я правда не крал ее. Thanks, Timur. For this video, we need a popcorn, you know? Okay, let the judges vote. What do you think about this video? Okay. It was a surprise for me, such a criticism, and only one is... Think about it. It's a good one uh, or bad one. Yeah, Let's start with you, Stas. Let me say, yeah, I, I guess everyone have a lot of critics, but uh, the good part is uh, Timur is like our regular contestant of Kuka Battle, and I've seen that how much job you have put it in this video, and before everyone other will say a word about your job, I just want to mention that this is a common mistake 
uh, from Russian-speaking guys who participate in the international show of Hukubet. So you guys think that it's funny for, uh, for Russian auditor, for Russian-speaking auditor, but you have to keep in your mind that uh, people who will watch it from other countries, they might not understand what, what's going on. So, and you should and you should remember that this show is for international auditory. Yeah, we have all the Russian speak, most of Russian speakers judges. So that's the first mistake. When you think that something is funny, uh, it's not 100% funny. You should, before you launch the video, you should uh, show it to your friends, to different guys who never seen it before. And you should take opinions because you think it's cool, but uh, the scenario might look like not clear. And the second thing is about the timing. So the timing, uh, <laughs> we just saw 17 minutes, the full video. Yeah, above this. Uh, well, first of all, it's violating rules of the show. It's not possible to make the video like more than five, okay, six minutes is maximum, but not 17 minutes, we will ask you to make a short version for the final YouTube cut. So yeah, unfortunately you have put a lot of job in, in, into this project, but uh, the jury will have other opinions. Okay, okay thank you Steph, yeah. thank you for your opinion. Uh, so let me ask Anton about this. I didn't get the idea of the video. Uh, I'm a Russian speaker guy, but still I don't find it funny. I um, I think, uh, the, yeah, as you said, uh, guys put a lot of effort, uh, a lot of time and work in this video, but uh, I don't get it. <laughs> and uh, they tried it to make a movie, but they are not professional filmmakers, so this movie is not good. It's it's not funny to watch. It's not entertaining. Um, I think uh, the idea of this mix and story is to to represent the mix and to make a, a brief representation so that we so smoke shisha, shisha and, and no, we uh, it's fine it's fine to have different kind of stories yeah, but you, yeah, you, you should understand should. the idea so so, so, so I, I don't understand the idea of the story i don't understand how it match, matches with the shisha mix the mix is okay it's not bad not good it's, it's okay uh, but the video i just don't get it the only good thing about the video the kazakhstan girls i love them <laughs> <laughs> so, okay yeah, kazakhstan girls <laughs> Okay, I think, yeah, participants should more want feel. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. So, uh, and actually, guys, I want to be uh, short, uh, not like a video, because video is, was so long and really it was burning. Uh, burning. <laughs> Boring. Yeah. And uh, really, I can't understand combination of the mix and of the story. Mm, we have a lot of time to understand it, but uh, I lose uh, my mind and everything uh, after uh, five minutes. I don't understand what's happening uh, on the video. Sorry. So it didn't synchronize for you, yeah, Arthur? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Maybe you? Uh, also, I can see the work with the script, but the script was bad and boring. Uh, high quality video is okay, I like it. Uh, cool, f uh, cool frame change is very nice. Uh, ladies in the frame, very I like ladies. Nice uh, ladies. All jury is men's and, and it's very good. Use girls and ladies in uh, videos it's nice uh, but uh, after five minutes uh, was i boring. was uh, sleeping it was okay. boring yes all right okay so thank you for your opinion yeah that's the opinion unfortunately uh timur but, but yeah, we, we have wish a good luck to timur next time well maybe. timur is pretty experienced guy so i i think it's he uh, can he, handle this he will handle with it yeah okay, okay. next team Hey guys, John with hookajohn.com here. I want to thank the guys from Hookah Battle for putting together this little program. We've got the Hookah John bowls that are made specifically in Ukraine. Check out these bowls and if you need any, contact me at john at hookajohn.com. See you guys! Next team, Captain Shisha from Japan and he's Captain Captain Shisha. And daily hookah energy drink 50% representing this mix must have pinkman 25 percent mad pure tropic honey 15 percent element earth lion lemongrass 10 percent 
Let's start the video. Freezer, don't shoot, please. The speed. Too strong. I can win at this rate. Soon. Way to give you energy. I feel energy. I'm Son Goku, Super Saiyan. Ka me ha me ha. Thanks for the energy shisha. How did you make it? Bruma says, energy drink, pink man, tropic honey, lemongrass, that's it. So, so energy. This shisha is great. This, yeah, it's a plus. It's a plus. It's great. Thank you, Japan. And now, judges, I want to see your words. What do you think about this video? Wow, it's a great, wonderful. <laughs> Who want to be first? I want to ask you. Oh. Who want to be first? Well, well, what? Yeah. yeah, please, my friend. I don't have stories about... <laughs> no Japan stories. About anime. <laughs> uh, I will be short. Uh, it's winner for me. It's nice and short, thank you. Next one. Uh, yeah, it's short, but I fully understood the story. So energy mix, uh, even it was okay. It was cringy video with this. Uh, it's Asia typical uh, with this video. Super agent and so on. But anyway, I understood the idea. It's a, even it's short video. I understood the mix. Cool, good job. Even even for two minutes videos. Yeah, I think uh, it's a very cool uh, video. Uh, I think that everybody from uh, Judge uh, uh, want to see the something the same from Japan. Yeah, I yeah, don't yeah. I don't know <laughs> what. <laughs> We're waiting for, for it. Waiting, uh, waiting for waiting it. Something yes, like this is a lot of stereotypes, uh, stereotypes. Yes, and uh, it was uh, really funny. But uh, I, I want to say it uh, will be more interesting if uh, they uh, use uh, uh, <coughs> more people. Mm. Uh, maybe, maybe you know, like uh, Power Rangers. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, every Ranger uh, is uh, one flavor. <laughs> and, uh, uh, in the finish of it's the video, oh, uh, everyone. It's the next idea. Pa -pa -pa for next, uh, yeah. Mix and Ooh, stories make battle. Make a great mix. <laughs> yeah, why not? Why not? Okay, so Anton, I think, a few uh, words. Uh, yeah, I think it's great. I love uh, Japanese culture. So uh, the, uh, <laughs> the, the, the only thing that I could uh, recommend the guys is to use real um, voices and screams from anime, uh, loud screams from, from the uh, videos to uh, uh, use it uh, in their video because it uh, lacks energy a little bit without these screams, <laughs> but uh, otherwise it's, it's great. Uh, this is what I thought everyone will do, like uh, they will make a video about the mix and it should match with the mix, so it's great, yeah. Okay, cool. I have, I have maybe. Yeah. maybe you? Yeah. yeah, it was very easy to focus what he wants to explain yes. and we like it. Yeah. And it was so passional and emotional. Yeah. I like that's, it. Like that's it. Yeah. right. And a big, uh, a, a, a big, uh, you know, uh, difference between 17 minutes video and yeah, video yeah. so you know. short so. video and so <laughs> much emotions. All we understand very easy that what he wants to explain because us. it's simple. Okay, okay cool. Okay, cool. I, think I think it's enough, enough to say. Uh, let's move next. Nothing. Muffins in the freezer, they be lit yeah, 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 yeah. I got no eyes on my wrist, you can check Need to invest and redouble the check Had no paper, my life stayed on yeah. stress I was obsessed yeah. to the yeah. sound process After we go up to the next team I would like to give a few words for our CEO, Stan Oh yes, yeah. so the next team is gonna be from some new region for us New country, it's gonna be South Africa uh, something really new uh, and uh, it's gonna be Aisha from Ashisha company uh, Aisha performed not long ago in our uh, show 
uh, Smoke Tricks International as a jury member. And a while ago, also, I have published a big interview with Aisha on our blog, Hookah Hub. Everyone are welcome to read it if you are interested how the things are going with the hookah business in South Africa. You can watch my interview. And well, uh, I'm pretty, I know that uh, guys put a lot of attention to their preparation for mix and story. So I'm super excited what they have prepared. So yeah, let's yeah, let me can't introduce. Wait, can't wait to watch. Yeah. Okay. So it's eighth team, Ashisha, South Africa, Aisha De Beer. Must have Matt Peer 55%, must have Lemon Lime 10%, Adele Berry Mix 15%, Adele Mint 20%. Let's the music play. Hi guys, this is Aisha here from Ashisha. Firstly, Ashisha, I chose the name because the letters in my name, A-I-S-H-A, I incorporated it into my Ashisha brand and I made it who we are. So in 2019, I opened up a coffee lounge um, that offered Shisha and I obviously had to know how to make the Shisha. Uh, we built quite a big clientele base and from there, in the WhatsApp groups, um, people started sharing information and we started sharing information and before you know it, it just became such a big thing. So um, closing down our coffee lounge end of 2020, um, we actually opened up our online store in South Africa where we ship all over and it's actually the biggest online store. Um, and then last year we opened up our first retail store in November in Johannesburg and because I'm the woman that does the marketing, I've done my website, I do the YouTube channel, you know, I build the relationships with our customers, I build the relationships with our suppliers, I've got a good team on board as well and just being a part of this culture and creating this culture for everybody to share their ideas and and to get feedback and to get knowledge i mean it's just a super 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 huge experience for me and dealing with our suppliers from from overseas that also just makes it even more worthwhile um we've got good relationships i love the traveling um shisha has evolved so yeah, just to be a part of that and to showcase that and to share that with South Africa, it's just a huge inspiration on its own. And we really, really want to inspire many others. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you for, for allowing us this opportunity to represent our country as well as our culture. Now the flavors that represent our country are Mad Pear from Must Have, Pears are grown in the Western Cape region of South Africa. Lemon and lime from must have because lemon and limes are grown in the Limpopo region of South Africa. Adalia mint. Mint gives it a nice fresh taste. And Adalia berry mix because we are a mixed and fruitful race nation. So this represents our nation. This mix many tried in store and absolutely loved it. Welcome to South Africa, the country where we still live in mud huts. Our children play in mud all day long. We ride donkeys to walk and we walk with animals on the road. <laughs> no guys, let me show you the real South Africa.
fly like Fogger. Yeah, pull up in a beam. Too much, too clean, I'm taller. Aye, don't foster. Serious in order. Uh, a big time player. Crip too big in Ganja. I went flexer. Yeah, Tina said Jima. Yeah, too hot like a heater. My neck down froze like winter. Don't bet it on. Licker. Yeah, Shy Tommy. Picture. MJ on the sheet. Thriller. Funny vibes every night. Enter. Nang Talagat. Costa. Yeah, I can start like Fogger. Huh. Pull up in a beam. Too much to clean and tall. I don't foster. Serious in order. Yeah, a big time player. A trip too big in Ghana. I went flexer. Yeah, Tina said gym. Yeah, too hot like a heater. My neck down froze like winter. Don't bet it on. Licker. Yeah, Shy Tommy. Picture. MJ on the sheet. Thriller. Oh yes, before they fit a couple dumb period, I don't have to make a divave, a divave, a divave. That's the video where I definitely feel the vibe. I re ah. Okay, react, let me react, see react your words, yeah. judges, and then you can comment this. Okay, right now, right here, and you. Okay, so Stan, you are starting, so yeah, I please really continue. I love this opening. That's what I expect from South Africa. Lion King or something like that, yeah. I really love the part with guys with these shirts, with symbols. Looks like Die Antwoord, you know, so I'm a big fan of this group, so it's, it's nice. I really enjoy it and uh, my mind traveled somewhere to you guys, to this party on the roof, like you smoked hookah and I've smoked together with you. It's just amazing, so. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Who else? Maybe you? Yeah, I feel the South Africa okay. in this video, but just recommendation, just the first part and the last part was long. If there was a little maybe, maybe. Yeah. yeah but it was generally it was nice and, and about the mix, mix yeah that mix is fine fine yeah. okay is it compared which with mix and video for you just for not you. not so, not so okay yeah uh, i'm more impressed uh, with the fact that previous uh, team was from japan and they used dark side now we have south africa and guys use must have so all over the world, Russian tobacco, it's so cool Popular. actually, it's, it, it's very cool. Uh, the video is nice, uh, the flavor is nice, maybe they don't match too much. Uh, I don't feel this uh, flavor as African, I don't know what is African anyway, <laughs> but uh, for Something me it's just like, uh, just like dessert flavor, kind of simple, but uh, the video but is nice. nice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Someone else? Yeah, of course my friend. I have never been in South Africa. Again? Not, not visit uh, Cape Town, Parak. But it's so beautiful. Uh, Johannesburg. 
I, I, now I want to visit the cities. Oh, great. And, um, hmm? Great. Okay, uh, about video. It was long, but I won't never stop this video because uh, I really like these views from the rooftop. Wow. Music. This wow. wife, this yeah. angry dog, these guys. It's so cool. Brutal. Uh, she really show us the uh, atmosphere. Yeah, other Africa. Other. Yes. Yes. And uh, Alicia? Yeah. Name? Alicia. 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 Uh, me, very like this. Uh, all what I say was very cool. I make to you present. Oh. I send to you my shisha, what I produce. Very nice. Very uh, very uh, nice. Nana Smoke comes to you like a present because it was beautiful. And I hope I visit your city. Very nice. Thank you very much. So, more critics? Okay. You, yes. you had the white. Uh, yes, yes, yeah. right. So, uh, video was uh, good. Uh, I have impression. I have. Uh, uh, I see uh, beautiful places. I see uh, size things. It's cool. It's very cool. But uh, just for me, it uh, looks like uh, something simple. Uh, I already saw uh, the same videos uh, and uh, I can't understand uh, why this uh, mix in our balls uh, <coughs> should be matched uh, with my impression uh, from the video. Yeah, actually I can agree with it, the, that mix, you, you should work more on mix, so it should be... Uh there, there, there are not, no, there, are, there be no story behind the mix, you know? Yes, so, yes, uh, you're right. Yeah, no explanation. Yeah why this mix uh, should be with this video. Yeah, mix was good, video was good, but uh, you should uh, uh, <coughs> to tell us, to the judge, uh, uh, why this is flavor of uh, South Africa. Yeah. yeah, totally agree, yeah, so... Uh, okay, thank you. Yeah, true words, so all right. So, let's go next. Yep. Next one is ninth team, Shisha Spot, and uh, Mikhail Hake will represent Poland. And mix Alfaker Grape 18%, Alfaker Orange 18%, Tangier's Regal Flower 15%, Tangier's Steve Mix 8%, Nahla Double Apple 40%, Alfaker Mint 1%. Let's watch. But before we'll watch, let me add my story, story about Oh, Poland. you have another story. Oh, yeah. Last summer, we have traveled, me and Ole Kniginian, uh, the co-founder of Cuckoo Battle, traveled to Poland. And we have made several interviews with some pioneers of cuckoo industry from Poland. It's really interesting. It's on our channel in English language. You can watch it. So. And yeah, this guy, uh, Mikhail, uh, he have a nice uh, shisha blog in Instagram, which called Double Apple Guy. <laughs> let's, let's, let's watch the video from Double Apple Guy. Hi, I'm Barry, and I own a company called Shisha Spot, and we're doing outsourcing, catering, and events around the whole Poland. So what inspires me to still work in the industry and to be a part of it is mostly customers. Uh, as you know, without customers, we don't really have a hookah industry. Uh, so I really like talking to them, even for like half an hour sometimes. I'm just popping to check uh, the lounge uh, as I'm not working. And I just like sitting down with them, uh, take my hookah and, and smoke, explain some things. They've got a lot of questions. Uh, especially they want to know what balls to buy, what tobacco and hookah and where to buy it. So I recommend some places to, for them to check out. And the second thing... The second thing would be... Um, I like uh, checking new things. So uh, whenever new ball tobacco uh, arrives, uh, I like to uh, buy it first, test it, uh, also uh, exchange experiences between some shisha masters around Poland. 
uh, and that uh, keeps me uh, in the loop. Uh, so that's uh, also thing I'm really excited about. What what comes next and what will be the whole future of hookah industry. And that's all from me. Bye. Hi, I'm Michael and I represent Shisha Spots from Poland. For this competition I chose Region Gdańsk, which is a beautiful city located north of Poland with access to the Baltic Sea. So, uh, the first mention about uh, Gdańsk being a city dates to year 999. Uh, it was also uh, a free city for 19 years after the Second World War. Uh, so it was uh, neither Polish or uh, German. It was just a free city. It was almost like a country itself. Uh, and also uh, in Westerplatte in Gdańsk, uh, the Second World War started. So it's a very traditional place and very historical one for that matter. Uh, and my mix is a double apple or two apples uh, mixed with like floral notes and even dirt or ground flavor as well uh, with hints of fruit notes that would be mostly orange. I like to smoke my uh, double apple uh, like 90% double apple and then I can mix something in it. I need to feel the double apple flavor but for many people you can choose and uh, decide how much of double apple actually do you need or want in a mix. That way you will enjoy it as well. Uh, and uh, I just wanted to see if in every lounge around the world you can get double apple because that's our history, history of hookah, uh, the way they started smoking, even without foil at the beginning, and then with foil, and explain, especially to customers, about the history and how it's very important. Uh, the history of Poland is very important, important to uh, our people, our nation. We're very proud of our history. Uh, I don't know if you know, knew that, but Poland uh, for 123 years uh, wasn't a country even in the middle of our history. We ceased to exist and then we cut it back, of course, because we were Polish. So I want everyone to enjoy uh, the tradition and embrace them. Uh, and of course, uh, nowadays you can get flavors, weird flavors like bacon, pizza, you name it. And they're all great, but uh, there's something different when you smoke double apple. It makes you wonder about the history, how it started, the gathering, and uh, the nature of, of it all. So I will advise to teach the customers, uh, probably in some countries they, you're already doing that. In Poland it's not that often that you find shisha master or someone making shisha who knows actually the history, the traditions, how they started smoking. That's why I mix double apple, because I think it's a traditional flavor. Uh, Poland is a very traditional uh, country focused on their history. And that's it from me. Goodbye. So, thank you for this video, yeah. Mikael, Poland. And judges, what do you think about this? Make a see you what? Okay. Wow. <laughs> so I have one positive and one negative, and I want to ask 
these people. What do you think about this video on first positive vibration? Well, uh, I love Double Apple. It's uh, w where the shisha started from. And uh, more than Double Apple, I love when people mix uh, Alfaka with Tangiers. It's, uh, it's very not uh, popular mix. Uh, but it's, uh, these two brands, they mix very good together. Uh, for me, it's very old school and professional to mix Tangiers and Alfaker. So I love the mix. And uh, I didn't love the video so much. It's kind of dull, okay. uh, not entertaining. But uh, I, I get his point. Uh, he was talking about the history and uh, the history of Poland and how double apple flavor um, yeah, makes you think about history. Make the yeah, foundation. Yeah, so, so I like uh, this, this this match of the history and double apple. Yeah, yeah. So I like. Okay. It. Okay. Thank Thank you. Yeah, criticism from here. Uh, I want to say to this guy, uh, Mikael, like Mikael. I say to you, like a designer. <laughs> um, yes, I am a professional designer, and touch me. <laughs> I know something about mixes. If you mix all colors in a rainbow, you became dirty color. The same is here. You have uh, eight flowers. Above six, I think, flavors six. we oh, had. Yeah. Just let me but look uh, I think that uh, simple people <laughs> it's can't like this. understand oh. all this <laughs> rainbow of uh, all tastes. Also, this Taste, I think, one little bit dirty. Okay, thank you for your point. Well, agree and not agree with this point. Like, um, you know, uh, it's Alfaker, mostly Alfaker based mix. And I remember the very first Kuka battles, yeah, like 2011, 2012. It was like 90% of teams used only Alfaker because it was no, no other, other tobacco. Brands. Yeah, but guys who made this Alfaker mix, it was just wow. wonderful. Amazing. It was just perfect. Like, we have had only Alfaker tobacco, but we knew everything about it. We knew about any flavor. We knew how to mix it. And damn, I still remember this first hookahs from first hookah, but it was just, just awesome. Yeah, and here, compared to the hookah from here, well, unfortunately, um, I cannot say that that's the best mix of Alfaker for me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mikhail. But it's a flashback. Yeah. 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 I, like I like it. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay. okay, okay so let's uh, are we good? Yeah, we are think fine and okay, go up cool. next. next. Yeah. Hey, I'm looking so sharp. I'm a well-dressed man. Yeah. Living my life, doing what I can. Yeah. And next one, Ban Shisha Asakusa from Japan and Haruyuki Fakuzawa will introduce mix and the mix is Aduman Arigami 50%, Tangiers Green Apple Tea 20%, Tangiers Lemongrass 10%, Alfakir Cardamom 20%. The mix title is Chacha, it's about Japanese tea. Let's see. お久しぶりです。浅草版シーシャの 卓展です。今回は日本文化の中でも特に親しまれている伝統工芸品折り紙について数十枚を組み合わせた複雑なものまでそのバリエーションは数え切れないほどです紙の表面の色や模様を生かして風景や動物植物など様々な形を作り出すことができますそして折り紙を紹介するならば欠かせないのが浅草です浅草は江戸時代から続く歴史ある町で伝統的な日本文化や風習が今も残っています折り紙は紙一枚で様々な形を作り出すことができる簡単で
奥が深い日本文化の一つですぜひ浅草に足を運んで伝統的な日本文化とともに折り紙の楽しさを味わってみてください今回作るミックスはそんな折り紙の文化と日本古来から続くお茶の文化を融合させてみましたオデュマン折り紙の味にグリーンアップルティーレモングラスカルダモンの香りを混ぜ込みましたフリーダム。Fuka represents freedom to me, as I can mix any flavor I want in the bowl and use any juice in the bottle. I can even turn a hose into an ice hose. This freedom inspires my creativity. Fuka also connects us to the world. At our cafe, we have a world map where we put a sticker. On the country of each visitor. We have already made friends with customers from over 40 countries through Huka. I love the creative freedom and friendship that Huka brings. Okay! Japanese right, mood. Very nice story. Yeah, from Haruki Fakuzawa. What do you think about his freedom? General impression. Yeah. yeah. Walt, please. He talked about freedom. It's a very nice theme for me. So, who oh, knows、yeah. what I s a y Inspiration story, just one. Oh, okay. Wonderful, so, so, you will start. Yeah, first of all,、uh, I have had an experience of listening to Dark Side inspiration stories from different contestants, from like Seven contestants from different countries. This one is、uh, open to some interesting idea that、uh, I really love this idea that you feel、uh, it gives you freedom when you mix a tobacco. It's something, yeah, this is something what can really inspire to be connected with hookahs. It's, it's, it's some new idea. It's, it's cool. I really enjoyed it. So, regarding the video, Well, it's, it's nice.、Um, origami, traditional, Japan, very interesting to watch.、Um, not sure about how the mix is related to origami,、okay. um, but the flavorings, feeling, I, 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 I feel in this bowl like some Japanese、it's、notes. It's synchronized. I guess so, yeah. So I don't know what Anton will say. So, but you are so quiet today. Maybe some, a few words? No, I think I'm okay.、Uh, thank you. So I want to tell, want to tell you that、um, I think it's a really nice tradition connected with、uh, this mix for me. And I think、uh, the mix of these、uh, flavors is.、Uh, Like origami, then you make a shape from、uh, different flavors. So you make origami. Wow, yeah, wow. that's cool. Very smart, very smart. Thank you, thank you. Thank you.、Right. Someone else want to、yeah. show yeah, your opinion? Maybe me. Okay,、uh, just for me, it、uh, was a really interesting story because I hear a w i n s o m of、uh, East. In、uh, your words, and、uh, it's a very good combination uh, with uh, your hookah with your origami mix. I think it、uh, really sounds very great. Thank you. And、uh, oh, yeah, of course, my friend. Maybe some comments about the flavor, so we, we didn't talk about it.、Uh, it's a good、um, case.、Uh, this handcrafted video, but、uh, quality and style is good. stylish. It's not. Normal, wonderful, and about、uh, taste, it's、uh, 
not usual. Unusual, unusual. Japanese and taste. You know what? I feel in this video like the real Japanese master. Like oh, yeah, like he yeah. He's this very piece. stylish this is, in this, this really jacket, cool. you so know. I have this feeling here. So yeah, jacket is amazing. He is amazing. Thank you. Uh, what inside in uh, origami flavor? Um, inside origami look. flavor, we have Aduman origami, 50% Tangier's green no, apple. No, no. origami, uh, which one? Uh, oh, it's, it's oh. some story behind okay. it, by the way. So it's uh, Aduman, 50% uh, of Aduman tobacco. It's uh, manufactured by our friend Ugur Ulman from uh, Turkey, Turkey, from yeah. Istanbul. Yeah, and unfortunately, it'd be not possible to get this flavor here uh, locally. And I have asked our friend Aihan to bring us this flavor. Uh, thanks, Ugur. Thanks, uh, Aihan. So we have an ability. Uh, this is a special uh, logistic things. So uh, <laughs> participant from Japan send us receipts. We have been in touch with our friends from Turkey who bring us this mix. So we have hookah like, connecting inter real, real international thing here. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, it's uh, I don't know actually what is the part of it's a secret origami flavor. Okay. So maybe all, all the mix uh, was from tasty. Aduman will tell us. Yeah, the mix really tasty. Uh, all components really works good. So with each other, lemongrass, cardamom, yeah, green can, apple. Is it super, looks super, like Japanese tea or not? Uh, yeah, it's Japanese yes. tea. You yeah. think? Yes. Yeah, yeah. you and feel it. And it's cool. Um, I, I'm not a big fan of green tea flavors, okay. of hookah green, green tea flavors, because usually manufacturers do it with the flower taste. Yes. And I cannot say that I like it. But here I feel the real it's like a pure. Like green tea with some notes of lemongrass. I really enjoyed this flavor. Really yeah, good. really nice mix. So let's up next. But before we will see our next team. Before we will show our Tangiers video, Stan, give us a few words about this team. Oh yeah, the next team is going to be from the United States and uh, you know what, we have a hookah battle calls um, where I invite some famous guys and companies to take part in hookah battle and I have recorded a short video for Tangiers team from Arizona with my idea to make a hookah mix about Arizona. So they replied to my challenge and uh, I'm really happy that uh, original Tangiers team will perform in our show today. Uh, it's interesting because uh, a few days ago uh, Tess from Tangiers Lounge sent me their mix, uh, which is, uh, let me see the, which is Aqua Fresca and Apunce Pear, yeah. Uh, yeah, and the problem is it's really difficult to find it here locally. So we have made a call inside our community to, like we have a community of hookah lounge owners. And you know what, <laughs> like if any, someone from which city, some hookah lounge owner have this, uh, this ingredients because it will, uh, it, it will be the result, will Tangiers appear in our show or not? So. And I, I'm happy to invite to our show, uh, let me invite you here, the founder of Secret Lounge from Moscow, uh, Hugo Battle community member, Berdi Berdiaev. Berdi, please come Welcome. here. Welcome. Yeah, please have a seat here. Yeah, we will just talk a little bit with you. So, um, Berdi. Uh, being the guy who sent me a message like, hey, I have these two flavors in my lounge and I'm ready to, but his lounge is located in Moscow city and we are here in St. Petersburg. So Berdi is a really nice guy, which I really respect. He travels from Moscow to St. Petersburg to this jury tasting and brings us these two Tangiers flavors and for all the world, for all, from all hookah lovers, thank you Berdi. For, for your input into the global hookah industry. So, everyone who's watching this video from Moscow city, please visit Secret Lounge. What is the address? Uh, Yavskaya Street 5. You heard. 
So please, you are welcomed in uh, this lounge, and I hope you will. Uh, it, it's it's going to be possible to smoke this dangerous mix in your lounge. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. All right. Thank Let's you, go. <laughs> Thank you, Berdy. And next team is Tangiers Ben, representing USA. Tangiers 75% Aqua Fresca, Tangiers 25% Ampunta Pier. Let's go. Hey, Hookah Battle. It's Travis from Tangiers Club US and Bendigo from Tangiers Tobacco. And we're here to give you guys our presentation for the Mix and Story Show. Uh, we put together a fun mix uh, that's inspired by the area we live in and manufacture Tangiers at in the southwestern United States. Uh, let them know a little bit about what they're uh, going to be seeing. Yeah, so this mix was actually created by Test. Um, it is Mapucha Pear, aka Prickly Pear, and Agua Fresca, right? So uh, Prickly Pear is a fruit that typically grows on the saguaro cactus that's here native to Arizona. Um, Agua Fresca is a refreshing water and fruit blend drink that you typically find in many taco shops, raspado places. Uh, My favorite places. Yeah. Uh, so this, is, this mix is very special to our Southwest community here in Phoenix, Arizona. And it's a really refreshing mix that's perfect for this time of year. So the ratios we use for this are about 75% Agua Fresca and then the remaining 25% a puncha pear. We tested this mix with multiple types of coals, our tangiers, Japanese charcoal, coconut coals, as well as a third type of charcoal that will be coming to market very soon. And you guys are gonna find out more about that. What do you think of this mix? I think the mix is really great. I think the agua fresca balances out that prickly pear uh, very well. Prickly pear is a very powerful flavor um, and it does play well with others. I think the agua fresca is subtle and sweet enough to really take off some of that pungent prickly pear note. I think it's really balanced. I think it's really refreshing, especially for a spring and summer type of flavor. Um, I know I, I personally enjoy like refreshing summertime flavors this time of year. Uh, summer Resort is one of my favorites as well. I think agua fresca and pucha pear fall right in that category. Yeah, I agree with you. And I think a lot of places, you know, agua fresca is a newer flavor for us. A lot of places are still getting it for the first time and it'll be just in time for summer, which will be perfect for you guys that want to get out, have something refreshing, hang out by the pool, do whatever. Maybe even drink your favorite kind of agua fresca. Exactly. So make sure, go ahead and uh, give us a follow. Follow me, Travis, at Tangiers Club US and Ben here at Tangiers Tobacco. And you can find us on all platforms, Facebook, Instagram. Uh, we'll soon be on Twitter. And yeah, that's all we've got for you guys today. Hey, stay tuned. Keep battling, guys. Tanjur's guy, do you like it? Yeah. This was a nice video from Tanjur's. So okay, some opinions, some. guys. I see Anton dislike. I see one more dislike. I see what what the hell is doing here? No one liked Tangiers? Really? Everybody loves like Tangiers. Tangiers. Okay, what you didn't like? Tell me please. Who wanna be first? Uh, I love Tangiers. I have some friends from Russia working in Tangiers uh, office in the United States. And uh, you know, ten years ago. Ten years ago, I've been uh, in Tangiers Lounge. I spoke with Eric, Eric Hoffman, uh, the man behind the brand, um, and uh, I made a video about packing. And uh, ten years ago, it was made with good microphone. So, so it was a good for video. 2023, I think it's it's so strange to see a video submitted for this uh, video international contest with bad audio. You know, I, I just don't get it. And uh, there was no story, just the mix. The mix is good, Tangiers is great tobacco, but it's just two flavors mix and they showed how they mix the ball. It's, uh, it's not about, it's not what this contest is about. Yeah, yeah. it's too simple for this yeah. contest, yeah. I think. Okay, your opinion, please? Yeah, I was expecting better video from them. Better quality video, yeah, better hard working for this video. Yeah, of course we like Tangiers. Okay. All right. All right. So uh, some positive sides. <laughs> okay. The, uh, I like the mix. Like so mix. Yeah, the mix is the good. Mix mix is is good. good. Yeah. So it's really tasty. I enjoyed a lot just smoking it. 
So uh, I, I, I would love to implement this mix uh, into my Kuka Lounge as well. Um, and, but uh, yeah, so uh, we, we would be happy to uh, at least, okay, so there are no some video about Arizona because we have had some conversation with it's about Tangier's, Tangier's team that they will put some footage about Arizona. No problem if you didn't, uh, didn't get it. So, um, but you could tell some, you know, some story. It's mix and story. That's, that's something. Yeah, we want we a story so here. Some uh, idea, some deep idea of this mix, not just packing. So just, yeah, it could be uh, something, the story about. Guys, so, from this Kalitz. coach, <laughs> want to say something? Yeah, uh, I think uh, mix uh, was okay. Uh, everything tasty. I love uh, Tangerius tobacco. But uh, really, guys, uh, please, uh, if you want to say uh, to us uh, some history, uh, some uh, interesting story, uh, uh, sorry, but you can't. Uh, because uh, we, uh, how uh, Stan told, uh, we speak uh, today about mix and stories. Uh, I see good mix, but uh, no, no good story stories. Here. Yes. Okay, thank you for your opinion, guys. Wanna comment agree. something? No? Agree with our colleagues. They okay, thank you for okay. agreement. Yeah. 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 So mix was nice, but story was poor. Let's go next. Next one, Matt Shisha from Great Britain and Mahdi Ahmed will present his mix. 5% Bonche Whiskey, 5% Bonche Olive, 5% Bonche Barberry, 25% must have Violent, 15% Milky Rice, 10% must have Vanilla, 25% must have Purple, 10% Severny Sever. Let's Super complicated mix. Yeah, I'm, it's, I'm it's a really big it, mix. Yeah. Maybe it would be tasty. Let's watch. Yeah. How's it going, guys? My name is Mahdi Ahmed, aka Mahdi CK, and this is my story from the dark side of inspiration. So, what inspired me to become a shishi mixologist? Well, first and foremost, I enjoy the passion and the field of shisha, creating new mixes, uh, trying out new flavors, new brands, from blonde leaf to dark leaf. To cigar leaf and so on. I'm a huge fan of creating things and putting things together like the dessert mixes, fruity mixes, your tea mixes, your drink mixes, whatever it may be. That's what brought me to the field of cheese because I have a creative mind and personality. So when a customer comes to me and asks me kind of, you know, to create a unique mix for them, you know, I'm all for it. It allows me to kind of enhance their experience of shisha and also allows them to experience and try something different. So that's one of the main reasons why I became a shisha mixologist. How's it going guys? My name is Mahdi Ahmed, aka Mahdi UK, and this is my submission for the Hooker Battle 2023. So, I'm born and raised in London, UK, 
but I'm originally from Bangladesh. I'm a shisha mixologist based here in East London for Flavor Shisha Lounge. And the fusion uh, that I wanted to create uh, today for this submission is incorporating both British and Bengali culture. I wanted to take a take on the traditional British rice pudding as well as Bengali finley, which again is rice pudding. So the first way to start us off is must have milky rice, self-explanatory. Second flavor I've got is must have vanilla cream. Again, to enhance that creaminess and add that vanilla essence to the flavor itself. The next flavor I have is must have purple, which is quite a unique flavor, but it adds that candy-like vibe as well as the sourness to this mix, which again takes inspiration from both Asian sweets and British candy. I also have must have violet, which again is blueberry, yogurt, and honeydew melon. Honeydew melons are my favorite type of melon, and blueberries are my other favorite type of fruit and my favorite berry, which is why I've also put that into the mix. And that yogurt element incorporates Bengali doi, which is a Bengali type of yogurt. So the last three flavors, but I've only got one of them here with me right now, are three bonche flavors. The first is bonche barberry, which again is a candy, uh, flavor. Then I have uh, Bonche Whiskey, which again, although I don't drink, is inspired by British drinking culture, but I can smoke it. So that's why it's in the mix. And it adds a nice spiciness and citrusy uh, element to the mix itself as well. And I also have Bonche Olive, which surprisingly adds a nice creaminess as well and enhances that richness of the flavor in this mix as well. So that is all the flavors I have within my mix. You will see a couple of clips of me smoking the shisha and I hope you guys enjoyed this mix as much as I do. Take care guys, enjoy. Feinde machen Minusgrade, sind nicht von Mund für die Straße. Kilo wahre Urlaub in Mirasse. Filigram nimmt Schmuck dabei von Abu Dhabi. Bist du bei auf der Blacklist in Türkei? Okay, thank you, Mahdi, for this video. Let's applause. It was a nice video. Nice video. Yeah. So let me see your voice, judges. Let me see your voice, please. Raise your hand. Okay. Okay, no negative here. Okay, let me give word to Anton. It's a positive uh, vibration. I think it's a very complicated uh, mix, and uh, I don't usually like mixes where there is like more than four ingredients. But here we have much more, and uh, overall it smokes good. I like it, and I like that he has an idea uh, why he puts these flavors. There's a backstory of the mix, so I think I think it's nice. It's cool. Thank you, Anton. Uh, need to mention one complicated thing regarding the mix with eight ingredients. Eight ingredients in one mix. Uh, look, we have two hookahs here. And it's, god damn, it's different. Really? And I can explain why, because... Um, it's too complicated. Because it's really, it's really hard to make it stable. Yeah. Like, uh, in the end of the show, I will tell uh, some system, how hookah lounges can implement this mix into the menu. But guys, when you have eight ingredients, it's really hard to repeat it. Just put it in your mind. It's a bit yeah. complicated. Alexey, you want to say something? About me. Uh, it was the best taste, best hookah what I have today to smoke. Um, oh, really? Again, <laughs> one little time ago, I say about rainbow. Yeah. And, uh, about uh, mixes of paints, yeah? yep. and uh, <laughs> it uh, you can become uh, became uh, dirty uh, taste, but not in this case. This is pure uh, because uh, this guy is really professional, and he have eight tastes in mix, and it was the best hookah today for me. I think it's balanced. This is why it's so tasty. So uh, I think uh, not, not, all, also, uh, not only balanced, uh, I think it's, you know, uh, the different colors of uh, white 
So uh, <laughs> some uh, some flavors are, are different colors of white. So and some flavors are different colors of another color. So that's why uh, they are mostly the same for me. Um, yeah. A little bit critics from my side. <clears throat> Um, I didn't catch the story, like the concept of mix. So yeah, okay, let's say eight ingredients, uh, best flavor for Alex, good, good result, but um, it was a good opening with Bangladesh, I really enjoyed it. Then uh, it was moved to London, then there was some explanation that uh, team captain originally from Bangladesh, but now do some cooker business in London. Okay, but what is the idea of, of the mix? I didn't catch it. So what, which, which idea you want to put in the mind of people with this mix? Sorry, yeah. I didn't catch it. I think it. we need a more straight storytelling here, yeah? To become more understandable. For people. Mm, well, that's the most difficult part of this show. To this is why like, it's mixed stories. Do you remember stories? the mix from uh, Japan, from Baan Shisha Lounge? Yeah. I totally understand the idea, origami, cool, everything and is clear. And it's Asia. So, yeah, everything is clear, but here not everything is clear. So, I hope you guys agree. All right, so if we are good to go. Yeah, if we are all good to go, okay. we go up next, team. Okay, next one is Secret Anonymous Team. Let's watch this. Ooh, mystery guy. Yep. Okay. Okay, some intrigue. Let's watch it. Давайте честно. Зачем мы это делаем? Зачем это? Покупаем разные табаки, которые совсем не миксуются, чтобы сделать их подходящими. И тратим столько денег, которые можно было бы потратить на что-то более интересное. Я уважаю мнение людей, которые смеются над нами и думают, «Вон, смотри на этого идиота!» Гастрономический микс, странный кальян или непонятный проект. Но мы такие. Для многих это просто вид досуга, чтобы провести время с друзьями. Но про эту точку зрения мы полностью забыли. Для нас это больше, чем вид досуга. Само курение кальяна ушло на второй план. Это продолжение нас самих. Ведь мы можем показать то, чем или кем мы в реальности можем и не являться. То, как угли прогреваются. Миксология или общение – все это. И я знаю, над чем все смеются. Но вообще это совершенно не важно. Мы это видим, но совсем не воспринимаем, потому что удовлетворение, которое дарует нам кальян, гораздо больше. Работа над своим проектом для батла. Боль, болт, который не откручивается, деталь, которая не держится, то, в чем обычный курильщик сразу же сдался. Но мы-то боремся за свою цель. Цель, которая другим совсем непонятна. Но если в тебе есть этот ген, если в тебе есть эта болезнь, если ты вдохновляешься кальяной индустрией, самим кальяном и участием в батле, тогда это тебе не мешает. Но суть в том, что я не могу ответить, зачем мы все это делаем. Конечно, мы хотим получить подтверждение тому, что мы создали. Но отчасти это и сам факт быть частью этой индустрии. Я сделал этот кальян, я его изменил, я сделал его, и я курю на нем. Ты работаешь над ним, куришь на нем, и в нем ты можешь выразить себя, свое отражение. Мы занимаемся всякой ерундой с ними, модифицируем, меняем все это, но не потому, что мы придурки, а может потому, что мы как игривые дети. Хотим показать то, что есть в нас. Некоторые этого не понимают, и это абсолютно нормально. Но если это в тебе есть, нет смысла это прятать. 
сдерживать. Выпусти это. А все это разнообразие вкусов совершенно не важно. 80 вкусов у тебя за барной стойкой или 800, или 1800, это совершенно не имеет значения. Это твое. Миксуй как хочешь. Это любовь как болезнь. Та, что мы испытываем кальяном. И совершенно не важно, хуб ли это, альфа, вука или соломон. Это личное дело каждого, и это очень-очень здорово. Мы можем раскрыться именно так, как нам нужно. Может быть так. Хук Баттл нам позволяет быть тем, кем мы никогда не стали. Потому что мы меньше, потому что мы толще, или потому что мы высокие или худые. И это тоже пунктик который становится для обычного курильщика тем, к чему можно прицепиться, типа а я -а, свое таким образом растишь». Разумеется, именно этим проще всего объяснить то, зачем мы это делаем. Но знали бы вы, видели бы вы, какое восхищение мы испытываем по отношению к кальянам. Очень жаль, что они не могут добиться такого же в своем мире. Этот момент... Когда ты свой проект так долго готовишь, летишь на выставку, берешь мундштук в руку, когда ты выходишь на сцену, он уже неописуем. Ты отдаешь мундштук судьям, они затягиваются. Okay, it's very catchy video. Let's applause. Very catchy, very emotional. Some old facts have some tears. Yeah. Watching it. Yeah. Who uh, wanna be first? Let's and let's vote. Let's vote. It's very important to vote. I think. Oh, oh my. Not all okay, positive. Then, then Stan, you explain. will explain. Okay. You will explain first. Yeah, I will explain first. In a big respect to. Uh, 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 Rheinbeck, Shout out Muradov, to Kazakhstan. Our legend from hookah battle. Yeah, first legend from Kazakhstan, Rheim, Rheim Raketa team. Um, this video is super cool, but only for, for the people who are related to hookah battle contests and contestants. Like if you've been the judge, the contestants and so on, if you are like a part of our professional If you're in the party. It's, this video is really cool. So, but only if you are a part of it. But for like people who watch us for the very first time, uh, they will don't understand it. I'm pretty sure they will don't understand. But they it. maybe can catch feeling. Um, maybe they will catch the feeling, but they will catch not true feeling, because uh, like uh, we understand what he means. Here, because we've been the, there were many old parts of videos, even from 2012, from, yeah. from very first Google Battle and many other things. And it's nice. I really enjoyed watching when I <laughs> when I watched it. I even didn't smoke hookah because I just watched too it, watched, interesting. Watched, yeah, I, I just started to smoke it right now. And by the way, the mix, the flavor is just wonderful. So, uh, but anyway, some critics from my side. Uh, It's cool to have some projects here, which uh, will understand everyone. Okay. Not only hookah battle guys, but everyone. He should so work a little some, bit about it's some story. message from me. So okay. some which from me. Yeah. Okay. Alexei, maybe you wanna say something? Uh, for me, it's hookah battle. Last four years is uh, the most shiny days, you know, uh, because. Uh, I prepare hookah self in my factory and uh, it's uh, something special for me uh, see these pictures of all these years uh, uh, pictures of um, hookah club show uh, hook, uh, pictures for another uh, exhibitions uh, like uh, John Kalyana yeah. uh, festival uh, and um, for me it is wow Nice flashback. Um, but Stan, uh, say right, it's for simple people <laughs> who watches. Uh, they just, they just don't realize yeah, this video. The value of this video. Yeah. He says, okay, people, 
More people. Nice party. Okay. Party. Okay. Uh, somebody win something. And uh, okay. okay. It was not my festival. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But I think uh, I'm back. Tried to explain the feeling of hookah battle for simple people in this video because he was talking that for other people it's just smoking shisha and other people may see us like freaks and idiots. But he was explaining his feelings about it. I think it's it's well, great video. Well, from this point of view, I can agree. Uh, with you. Yeah. It's great video. The production quality is very good. Uh, the picture, the sound. I would love to see all the participants all the videos of like this, this high quality yes it's obviously that uh, Ryan Beck is not the first time participant uh, he, he knows what to do and how to represent himself so it's obviously is great um, he's like a cheater yeah. it's a <laughs> trick for you because, because yes because he's like a pro and other guys uh, look like amateurs right now <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, I his, yeah? You. and I have uh, one question for you you talk about these feelings and how people just try to uh, to complain them about hookah, yeah? And we see you so young in this video, yeah? Is it clear in this year for people about hookah? They understood in this time, five years ago, they understand what hookah means? Is it simple for them? Uh, or it's so hard? I don't get your question. What uh, do you mean? I didn't get as well. Okay. It's about uh, people trying to recognize the culture of hookah. Is it uh, more simple now or it's so hard as more years ago? Hmm. Interesting uh, question. I think it's the same. It's the same. Okay, thank you. I have an uh, idea. Okay. Our subscribers and watchers can text in uh, comments. It, it is what uh, so cool. Uh, Ah, he, uh, she feel the same. The same as Rahim and we are. Or what he say about this? Okay, please cool. comment us. Comments. Yeah, we will read right. it. So anyone? Yeah, Anton, please. So uh, for me, uh, this video was like, uh, you know, to light the hearts. So uh, to give people the idea that uh, hookah is uh, not just smoking, it's a process, it's a culture, Emotion. uh, emotions, yeah, emotions. And from that side, I think uh, this video shows us uh, the best. So uh, Anonymous can be every one of us. Yeah, I know he has no face. Yeah, he has no face. Yeah, you're he right. Is, uh, anonymous, it's uh, as uh, Alex said, uh, simple people. Yep. yep. It could be simple. It could be. All it right, could that's be. Also it's a very a nice point. idea. And uh, the mix is great. I think it's the first mix today um, where uh, Rembeck used uh, non-flavored tobacco. I think so. Uh, no, and I love we, it. We don't know it's what, what yeah, it's mix. Yeah, it's not Ethos mix, yes. But uh, I, I, I'm pretty sure there is non-flavored tobacco here and I love it. I think I you think are well experienced. Maybe it is. All right. Well, guys, it's been the last team for our yeah. show. I see that all of us are a bit tired, like how many hours we just shoot it, like six hours or something. Yeah. Uh, so Medal of Honor to reach, do you remember? <laughs> yeah, so let's... Thank you all, <laughs> but Thank you now, now uh, while yeah. the members will calculate the results of the show, I would like to give a word to Stan. Okay, um, Icon, you have a hookah shop in Turkey, right? So I know it's not possible to sell legally some flavors of different brands, only local manufactured in Turkey, it's a complicated thing. But what do you think, not about your shop, but in general idea, what if some other shop owners will print these cards and will create like uh, special boxes uh, for separate teams, like ingredients? So you, you like this idea, you like this mix, and you can just go to your local shop and buy all the ingredients in one box. What do you think about the box? That is great idea for Turkey mm. because people doesn't know how to mix it. Oh yeah, that's cool. So they are just learning statue. All right. It will be grateful for them to make mixes easily from this. Okay, and another question. Anton, why do you don't have a menu in hookah place? Because we have uh, such a huge selection of tobacco and you can't uh, 
uh, have always uh, in stock all the flavors. Some flavors are limited editions. And um, this is the idea of Hooker Place that uh, Hooker Masters should talk more with uh, uh, our guests, with customers, uh, not offering them just something from the standard menu, but always creating a specific mix for, for the specific customer. I got it. Yeah, thank you so much. It's uh, important information. Please uh, check our wheretosmoke.net site and you, where you can find hookah lounges, where you can smoke all the mixes. Oh, I guess we have some also co contest for the people who watch our show right now. Yeah, so we have a comment contest. Please write a comment in our YouTube with answer to the question. Which country should present future contestants of mix and story of next year, 2024? And with which mix and which idea? Please uh, comment below the video and after of the best comment will get a set of free uh, brand's product who supported our show. Let me introduce it. Blonde Leaf Tobacco is Holster from Germany. Black Leaf Tobacco is Dark Side from Russia. Sigur Leaf Tobacco is Aircraft from Russia. Classic Hookah is going to be Alpha Hookah from Russia. Design Hookah is going to be McLeod. Electronic heat management devices Hookah Monk. Charcoal is Coco Brica from Indonesia. Expo is Intertobac, Balls is Hooker John from the United States, and HMD is Dreams from Switzerland. Substitute Mixtures is Brusca, and Franchise Lounge is Disket Lounge. You can find the results of our show on, at April 2023 in our official Telegram channel Hooker Battle International. Now I would like to share with you some information which bonuses and gifts will get the awardees of our show? Travel certificates from Hookah Battle for the first place. We are gonna give 500 euro travel certificate from Hookah Battle. Second place, 300 euros. Third place, 200 euro travel certificate. Now we have a tradition. At the end of the show, we should you remember should tell a short summary in general impression from the mix and story contestants of 2023 uh, for, from the show today. Let's start with Ihan or Alex. Or Alex. Or Alex. <laughs> okay, cool. Alex, few words, general impression. So it was very hard day for us. Long. I think not only for me, but uh, I feel me like I have to visit all countries in the world. Oh yeah, Japan, South Africa. <laughs> you want to travel. No, a really interesting tour. touristic really day oh, yes. <laughs> yesterday. Um, I have test many tastes from all world. Um, you know, this is li like like uh, eat. Uh, you taste something and uh, like food. Uh, you taste uh, something, taste, and uh, now I have uh, in plans. Um, to have in my home something uh, from these mixes. And uh, I make uh, ones of uh, these mixes for me. And uh, it's very cool to see people in all world who live in hookah industry, uh, same like we are here. We have uh, friends in all world and uh, we are here not alone. <laughs> we are many, many, many big team who drive uh, our hookah industry. Well, very good very words. Good words. <laughs> As I love to say, always hookah is connecting people. You are right. Maybe Ihan say something. Yeah, that was cool organization, and it was more uh, difficult for me to reach here. But all of this, I forget it. It's worth all of this. Thank you very much for the stand to have this nice organization. And thanks all for the team. And hope we make it in Turkey, one of these organizations. Oh yeah, it's going to be interesting. For visiting us, we are glad to see you here with us. So maybe Anton will say something. Well, it was a great day. Thank you, Stan, for this uh, organization, for this event. 
uh, you always inspire uh, not only me, but I think a lot of people in the world to make something in the shisha industry, uh, to try to make something new. I think it's very important to keep doing this, what you do for more than 10 years. Uh, I think it's amazing and you inspired so many people and today we see a lot of people from Japan. Uh, we haven't seen them like a couple of years ago. So it's a new market and uh, they're all already inspired by what you do, great. I think it's cool. great. And by the way, just need to mention it, thank you for your hospitality with John Caliano Lounge. Yeah, we are great in John Caliano Lounge of St. Petersburg. And I need to mention that John Caliano Lounge being the winner of Lounge Design Award 2021, which we have been, uh, which we organized like, yeah, it was so many countries participated, international jury and, and you guys took the, the first world. place from all over the world. Yeah, and yeah now, the, the one in Moscow. Yeah, yeah now it's uh, like a branch uh, in St. Petersburg and it looks just awesome. It's a Japanese cyberpunk style, is it? Yeah, yeah so thanks for hospitality. My congrats. Uh, I have a few words from our operator Vasily. This is the best place we ever made uh, shootings for our video, right? Because, so, because of the <laughs> ventilation system. Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah let's keep going. Okay, yeah, let's um, keep going. Artur? Yeah, okay. So, guys, uh, somebody here on our uh, hookah battle at first time. Somebody know. Uh, somebody was really perfect. Somebody can uh, make better. But, guys, don't stop and keep creating and uh, you will be more great more great uh, for everybody for everything guys thank you for our hookah battle today that's that's really good that you mentioned about uh, the parts of uh, the results of the show because now we will announce the winners like first second and third place and there are gonna be guys who put a lot of job into their videos and they should keep project. going and it's very important guys do not be sad that you have not taken first second or third place it's uh, it's really important for us if you will keep keep doing something keep participate in the next show you will come to us with some new ideas so it's it's really important for us thank you yes. uh, Anton. Anton yeah thank you so first of all uh, I want to say Thanks uh, to our participants. They are all great, and uh, it's uh, really hard to choose the best one. So, but we need to do what we need. Mm -hmm. So, uh, secondly, I want to say thanks to my colleagues for you. So it was a great day, uh, and uh, operator and director and so on and so on. And uh, the most thing I want to uh, say that uh, hookah is really connecting people and thanks for hookah battle to connect these people that people and all people uh, around the hookah industry so thank you and my applause to all of you to yeah. all of us to all of the industry thank you but before we talk about first second and third places i should mention that we have an additional nomination from dirk side Additional gift going to be provided from our partner, Dark Side. Each constant during participation on Hookah Battle event can tell a story with the answer to the question, what inspires you to work in the hookah industry? After all the best story, we'll get an additional Hookah Battle travel certificate for 500 years. I would like to give a award to the Dark Side representative of the jury member Artur Aksionov. Please announce the winner. Yes, uh, it uh, was a really different, uh, difficult choice. Very difficult. Yeah, but uh, so I can say, uh, I decided that uh, Florian. 
Florian from really? Germany. Okay. Yes. Uh, <clears throat> today told uh, about uh, uh, his uh, inspiration, but not only about his inspiration. Uh, he told about result of his uh, inspiration, and uh, it's really so great. I was in German. I was in uh, German with our Dark Side Brankville tour. Uh, we make a lot of degustation in uh, hookah lounge in. Uh, uh, hookah shops, yes, and uh, we saw the troubles of uh, this market. And uh, uh, after his inspiration, uh, he <coughs> uh, make a, a very good project, a very good information project, uh, not only for uh, his business. Uh, he make uh, it for everybody. Smoke uh, decks. Yes, uh, smoke decks, and it's great. I think it's great. It's and something uh, what inspired well. well Honestly, say, we, we should mention that uh, guys from Japan with the story about uh, mix. Uh, I feel the freedom. Like, yes, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, really close, close, close. Really, close. it's really it's some fresh idea. idea. It's really inspiring. But yeah, Florian's story being focused on his like history problems and something in the, some inspiration. Yes, just uh, not only inspiration. Uh, this. Uh, uh, he uh, showed to us a uh, result of his inspiration. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think it's great. Okay. It's a product. Fair yes. okay. cool. And we should to note it. Congratulations, yeah. Florian. Congratulations. Florian. The winner of Dark Side Inspiration. Results of Mix and Story 2023. And the third place is going to... One Shishi Lounge, Japan. Whoa! Oh. Japan! Third place. For first time, it was great, I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The second place is going to... <laughs> Captain Shisha, Japan. Again, oh. Japan! Oh. Two places. One hookah battle, two places. Oh, yeah. Asia. And the winner... winner. Winner! The first place is going to... <laughs> Rhyme Rakiada, Kazakhstan. Whoa! Oh. How unexpected oh. was this! Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, there are so many guys who put a, a big effort into their videos. I, I know this feeling. I know, do you know this feeling? You've been a contest. Someone cooker, is known. What do you feel when you, when you just participate you just noted first second and third place and you realize that you you are not you're not, you're not a winner and third place tell me what what is the feeling um my hands was uh, sleepy one little bit uh, wet. wet yes <laughs> I, I don't know all right all right so we again celebrate rahim i think he's Right. Great guy, yeah. and it was Mix and Story 2023. Please subscribe Hookah Battle social media pages to be informed about up or upcoming events. It was done. Thank you and goodbye. Bye. Bye. We smoke big lungs, big puffs. No choke. We smoke blunt leaf, dark leaf. No joke. We smoke hookah, kailan, shisha, glig leg. We smoke. I prep the base, I fill the vase, we smoke, we smoke Just water's the way to go, just H2O, we smoke Just to the land, we're doing fine, we smoke, we smoke